All right, what I'm building here is a uh, a cucumber trellis um, out of uh, electrical conduit. This is half inch electrical conduit. Um, and what I did was I marked off a six foot piece and then a four foot piece. And what you do is you join them together with these connectors. Goes in here and then screw it down. <clears throat> what I did was I primed it um, just to, you know, hopefully it'll last a little longer um, with priming. And then what you do is you take one of these, you know, net garden trellis things and you zip tie it together and, you know, create like a, you know, web. Um, and then what happens is you take your sections and you put them in these garden stakes here, or these uh, fence post stakes. And then this half inch fits perfectly in here and you can just, you know, uh, drive these into the ground and then put these right, I'll you know, put the trellis right up against it, zip tie it together, and then you're, um, you're done. The, the overall price of this was a little, little on the pricey side. Um, I, I normally make mine out of uh, scrap wood and chicken wire. Um, <clears throat> I just saw this online. It looked like an interesting little project, so I, I'm, I decided to check it out. Um, there's an easier, or I should say there's a cheaper way to do this. If you have a pipe bender, um, what you can do is you can bend um, the tops so they kind of, you know, like that and then you flip it on the other side and then get a connector piece in between and those connector pieces are a couple bucks um, I didn't realize that until it was too late um, and I also don't have a pipe bender so it uh, would never really done me much good um, so I marked my six foot spot just gonna cut it and uh, and then I'm done I just gotta you know screw it all together and put the netting done and zip tie the netting on so uh, one of the reasons why I did this is so I can move this uh, trellis to wherever I want um, and um, you know I have a small yard so uh, space is an issue and um, last year when I had my cucumber uh, uh, plant in my garden it just it was massive it was huge it took up a lot of garden real estate so I, I decided that the best bet would probably be to put this uh, you know, back by my fence, and um, and if it doesn't work there this year, then I'm gonna uh, I'll be able to move it to wherever I really want to put it um, next year. So so that's it. Uh, I saw this online. It was uh, somebody else's design. This is not my design. Um, and if you just you know Google you know trellis or you know cucumber trellis, it'll it'll you know you can see it. So. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, this is what it looks like, um, all zip tied together and netting on there. Um, so I pretty much zip tied every corner I could. I wanted to take all the slack out. Um, I'm a little skeptical about this. Uh, I, I'm not really sure how much weight these nets can hold. And, um, and whether or not the zip tie is going to hold it together. I, I don't know. We'll see. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. But the frame's put together. I like the frame. Got the corners all put together. And, I mean, that's it. I just got to trim off some of this excess. And then we're done. And I get to put it in the garden tomorrow. So, but it's big and that makes me happy so all right that's it